This tutorial will teach you specific information about playing as the Predators. Please note that you can press start at any time to pause the tutorial and see your current task. This is the Predator Shrine. It is the base of operations for any Predator hunt. Select the Shrine now. Notice when the shrine is selected, an icon appears just left of the minimap. This is a special ability icon, and any unit that has such an ability will have an icon shown here. The shrine's special ability is an ordering menu that lets you request and upgrade new predators and equipment. Special abilities are accessed with the R1 button. Press it now. This is the shrine menu. Here you can order and upgrade all the various predator units. You can also get detailed information on each type of unit and their upgrades. For this tutorial, we have limited your choices. Let's start by ordering a few brawler predators. Use the directional buttons to highlight the brawler listing and then press X. Note you can order up to six items at a time. When you have a few brawlers in the queue, press square to confirm your order. After confirming your order, the Predators will be dropped inside special pods to the planet from an orbiting support ship. They will land as close to the shrine as possible. Also note that each Predator you order counts towards your population cap, which is represented in the lower left corner of the screen. You cannot exceed this cap. You'll notice on the shrine menu that although most units count as one for population, some count as more. Now, let's purchase an upgrade. Select the shrine again and activate the ordering menu. Upgrades become available throughout the campaign and you can use them to enhance your units in very powerful ways. Notice there is a small upgrade button next to the brawler button. Use your directional buttons to highlight it. Notice a description of the upgrade appears at the bottom of the screen. Visual and statistical changes in the upgraded unit can also be seen in the portrait image on the right. Press X to purchase it. Very good. This will immediately upgrade your current brawlers and any new ones you order during this mission. Exit the ordering menu now by pressing the... One of the devices you'll be able to order during the campaign is a Pred gun. There's one near your shrine. Select it now. This is a Pred gun, an autonomous mobile defense platform. Currently, it is in mobile mode, and you may notice that it can be moved around like a normal unit. However, Pred guns cannot fire when they're in mobile mode. To be able to fire, they must first be deployed. This is done by accessing its special ability with the R1 button. You may have noticed when you ordered things from the shrine menu that the number just left of the minimap decreased. This number represents your current honor points, a sort of currency for predators, which is used to pay for new units and upgrades. Additional honor points are awarded by successfully eliminating enemies and by gathering trophy skulls. Let's go over how to earn more honor points. Scroll to the area marked on your map and select the predator there.
attack the Marine standing just east of you. Notice that when the Marine died, your honor point counter increased. This is a bounty, paid out in varying amounts depending on how threatening the prey is. Now, place your cursor over the corpse of the Marine and press circle to retrieve its skull. You've now received an additional honor point award. Taking the time to gather skulls can greatly supplement your income. Now, for the purposes of demonstration, we will create a few extra corpses here. With your predator still selected, hold down the R2 button and press triangle to put him in gather mode. Excellent. Notice how your predator automatically collects skulls. Using this method, you can quickly gather multiple skulls after a large battle, especially if you two multiple predators. Let's move on to cloaking now. Predators have the special ability to cloak themselves, allowing them to approach enemies undetected. Keep this predator selected and press the R1 button to activate his cloaking. Cloaking provides your predators with some immunity to visual detection, but it's not foolproof. Doing things that call attention to you, such as attacking an enemy, will reduce the cloak's effectiveness. And there are some units that carry detection devices or have abilities that will completely defeat cloaking. Use your cloaking ability to ambush the marines marked on your minimap. Good. Predators cannot stay cloaked indefinitely as the cloaking field drains the predator's energy. Center your cursor over your predator and the amount left is depleted. If it is not being consumed, energy will slowly replenish. This may take a while. A quicker way to recharge is to stand near your shrine. Move this predator back to the shrine now. Notice while standing, your predator was also injured in that battle. Luckily, all predators carry a Medicomp, allowing them to heal themselves. To do this, the Medicomp consumes substantial amounts of energy. With your predator selected, press and hold the L1 button, then press the R1 button to access his healing ability. Now, 
We'll go over vision modes. Vision modes provide your predators with the ability to detect things beyond their normal visual range. First, we need to purchase one of the three vision mode upgrades. Select the shrine and activate the ordering menu. In the vision mode section, select the thermal vision mode and purchase it. Good. Now exit the ordering menu by pressing the R1 button. Thermal vision allows you to see humans and wildlife before they've entered your normal visual range. Scroll to the area marked on your map to see an example of this. Look around the area just beyond this unit's visual radius. Notice there are some humans marked with a thermal aura that you otherwise would not be able to see. Vision modes can be a useful exploration tool and can also provide early warning of approaching enemies. This concludes the Predator tutorial.